Hi, today I'm going to show you how to get started with your rain boom wrap, what you need to do and um, how easy it is. So basically I'm just going to start with the colour. This isn't the same colour as in the pack. This is just a colour that I have at home. Okay, so we take your, your um, yarn and you make a magic loop to start with. I'm just going to make a single magic loop because it's not life or death that this is super tight. So then I'm going to make my magic loop and chain two. Then into that loop, I'm going to work two treble crochet or double for US terms, two. Then I'm going to chain two and I'm going to work two more trebles. Just like that. Now it looks a bit of a mess. What I'm going to do is I'll pull my magic loop closed and then you'll be able to see that we have a mini triangle. It's already started. So what we do in each row is we're going to be working backwards and forth and we're going to turn at the end and chain two. And that chain two will never count as a stitch. So we chain two and turn and then we work an increase in the very first stitch. So we increase one, two, then we work one stitch and then we work two trebles in the chain space. Now we're going to turn the corner and work down the other side of the triangle. So I'm going to chain two, then I'm going to work two more trebles into that chain space. This is basically turning the corner and I have two stitches left to work. So I work one treble in the next through both loops. And then I will increase in the last, like so. You can see then that our triangle is starting to take shape. So again, we chain two and turn, depending on which row it is and where the color, color numbers are noted, you want to be tying off and changing your colors, but this won't work. So chain two, increase in the first, and then we work to the chain space. So what happens is each side of this triangle will increase by three stitches. It'll increase by three stitches each row because you're going to be working an increase here to add one stitch to the end, and you're going to increase here, which adds two. So you're going to work three extra stitches in each side. So if your rows don't increase by three stitches each side of the triangle, you need to take a look at what you're where you're putting your increases Okay, so work to the last before the corner, then chain, if we add two into the chain space, two trebles, chain two to turn the corner, two more trebles, and then we work down the end to the last where we work an increase in the very last stitch of the round. Now, according to the instructions, this is where we would change colours, so we would tie off and we would start with a new color, but I'm not going to do that with this. Here we go, we're going to increase in this last stitch. There we go. So here we would turn, tie off and join the next color, but we're not going to do that. So um, now, again, we, whenever you do tie off a color and start a new one, you tie it off and then you join the color in the same place. So if I tie off here and cut my yarn and I add the next color, I'll add it to the same spot. Okay, so but in this case, back the other way, increase, to the corner, again this is, we're adding three stitches to this side, and in the last stitch we add one more before the corner, and then we work two trebles into the chain space. Chain two to turn the corner. Work two more. And then we work one in each stitch all the way across to the last where we do work an increase.
we've got an increase in the last and there we have it so we'll keep working in this way changing colors when instructed it's every three and every two rows so we will work our rows back and forth all around this triangle until we have a stitch count on each side of 100 so you have an increase and then you'll work all the way to the end and you'll have two in the last corner and all together that will be a stitch count of 100 and the same down the other side and once you've that have that stitch count of 100 you tie off and you make your second triangle and then it's time to join the diagonal